Hey guys, what's going on? We are here at Super Games. If you guys didn't know, this weekend was actually the Battle of the Champions qualifier, where the top two con uh, contestants, uh, players, actually got into the Battle of Champions, where they get into a round robin tournament with Noah and Corey, uh, previous national champions. And um, Craig, you were actually one of those two players. You and Desmond, actually. And so you actually ended up uh, outing Desmond in the finals with Infernalites, actually. And we actually saw that on stream as well. Now, we've had it on stream, I think, three times today, I believe. And, you know, you won all three of your feature matches as well. Now, why Infernoids? Um, I've been playing Infernoids since they came out. Um, it's my favorite deck. I played it when Secrets Fraternity came out, before Divide and before all that, you know, all the good boy cards and stuff. Um, it's just my favorite deck, and it has no bad matchups, and that's why wow. I like playing this deck. Well, awesome. Well, what were your matchups during the uh, during the day today? Um, today I played two Shadal. I don't remember all of them completely, but I played two Shadals, one Yang Zing. Um, all of my top eight matchups were Necros, uh -huh. and I played two Necros in Swiss. Um, I played a TG deck. Um, and that was Marquise? That was Marquise, yeah. Okay, yeah. Awesome. Well, congrats on going undefeated, Thanks, actually. And, uh, let's go ahead and see what you played. I know people are actually wanting to see. People in the chat were literally like, I want a deck list. So let's get uh, into it. Let's start out with the normal summons. I play six normal summons. Of course, I play three Decatron. Yeah. Um, honestly, this is the best monster in the deck. This is what makes your plays happen, all of your synchro plays. Um, it gets you out of any tight situation. It can pop an Imperial Iron Wall. It can pop a Kaiku the Ghost Destroyer. Just, it's an all-around amazing card. Um, I play two Raiden. And Why only two? I only play two Raiden because it is a reasoning target, and you do not want too many reasoning targets in the deck. Also, uh, two is good. Um, I accompany it with a Lila. I have three targets for my Charge of Light Brigade, so I don't ever want to have my Charge of Light Brigade dead in my hand. I always want to have targets. And you don't want to open up with these two in your first hand and have a Charge of Light Brigade. You know, oh, okay. okay. And Lila is just amazing. Um, she still gets me out of bad situations. I normal summon her often just to mill with her, honestly, at the end phase. Um, so those are all my normal summons. Um, we'll start now with the Infernoid Special Summon Monsters. I play one Pyramus. Uh, Pyramus is a very good card against decks that play a lot of heavy back row. It is also amazing against Shadals. Um, you can shuffle any set card back into the deck. It also came in really good against Yang Zing today. Um, okay. He set his first turn, I shuffled it back into the deck, and he really didn't have a very good hand. So I actually saw that, I remember that. Yeah. <clears throat> um, the next, I play two Entra. Um, I like Entra, but for sake of making Omega, um, I do not play Pyramus, which is the level 5, so uh -huh. I play 2 Entra, um, simply for against Shadals to get the bounce, and also it's just extra monster removal, and it's a 2k defense, Okay. Which is really good. So, um, I play Triple, Inferno and Harmadic. Harmadic is one of the best monsters in the deck. Mm -hmm. um, he can pop, this actually is what helped me win my game against Desmond, in combination with this and Decatron. Um, Send him with a uh, Decatron, then just summon a Patrick Logo straight into your Omega play. That's your first turn play if you have your first. You're basically forced into that. I saw you do that a couple times today, actually. And I, yeah. That combo was actually just ridiculous. Yeah, it's amazing. Um, next, I play three Patrulla to pop back row with. Also, he's a level four, so he sports your rank four engine that you mm -hmm. play with the Raidens and the Lila, and also with the Decatron. Um, next, Triple Sightsmith. Because he's the best monster in the game. Is this the one that attacks twice or banishes? It's the one that banishes. Okay. This card, if it battles any monster at the end of the battle phase, it can banish a card your opponent controls, and it does not target. So That's this ridiculous. card is just amazing against Shadals. They'll leave one of their clowns stranded on the field, or a set Falco, mm -hmm. and just attack it and banish their construct. Okay. And it's amazing. Next, I play Triple Inferno with Tondo. This is the attack twice. This is the attack yeah. twice. Um, he really is more OTK oriented when you're going for that play with Scrap Archfiend or Gym Knight Pearl. Um, he's a great monster. He just requires two to banish, and he's big. So, of course, everyone has to play this. And this is where my deck is uh, it's a little different than most Inferno players, but a lot of people have seen this before. I play two Deviati. Um, and this is a decision I made kind of recently. Um, I just I was playing double Anunku and one Deviati, mm -hmm. and I chose to cut Anunku to one and put another Deviati in. And the reason for that is, is Deviati is just in almost every situation a better Inferno than Anunku. Um, especially with the clowns running around now, mm -hmm. if you can protect this with a Void Seer and negate what really matters, because a lot of times they'll just summon something trying to get you to bait out. And if you can just negate it with the Void, keep it protected with your Void Seer and negate what actually matters, like their Brios and their Heralds, yeah. it's amazing. Okay. <laughs> I play one Inferno to Nunku. Uh, this monster just blows up all monsters on the field. He's amazing. He wins games. Uh, in game one against Desmond, you can see me use this card. Um, it's just, it's a great card. <clears throat> Obviously, uh, triple reasoning. Of course, because it's the worst card in the deck. Honestly, um, <laughs> no. But then the one monster gate, uh, just you know, standard inferno stuff. 
This is weird. Uh, I've never seen another Inferno player do this. I play Triple Boy too. Um, a lot of people are playing Dark Hole. A lot of people are playing Raigeki. This will save your Inferno. Just protect your monsters. Just protect your yeah. monsters. And it, this will stop pretty much any rank 4 that they yeah. go into. Castell, Honor's Art, anything. XCOM. Two Galaxy Cyclone. How does this work for you? I love this card. This card is amazing. Uh, you get it engraved. Andy's Emptiness is no longer a problem. Um, it's also great. If your opponent has a set card and a Vanities, you just hit the set card, kill the Vanities as well. This is a great card. The two charge of Life Brigade. Of course. Obviously. Uh, <laughs> this card is great. One burial from a different dimension. Just once again, standard Infernoid yeah. stuff. One for one. Uh, helps with your Synchro Engine. Helps get over your Floodgates like Imperial Iron Wall. Mm -hmm. If you can't Special Summon, you can always just Summon Decatron and send a Patch with it and pop it. Okay. Uh, Raigeki. Because it's Raigeki. It's great. Uh, this is kind of weird. Um, no Inferno player that I know mains this. This is unique to me. I main Deck Vanity's Emptiness. And this actually uh, came in really good today. I locked the all player out with it. Um, again, I didn't play any side frames today, but now that side frames are a thing, this is amazing. Um, so I made that, and it's so easy to get rid of. People worry about getting locked out with this card. Since all of your Infernoid effects are spell speed 2 and they contribute at any time, you really have no reason to get locked out by this card. Mm -hmm. And I haven't played TT. Of course, I saw that coming clutch a lot. Yeah, it did. It did. Uh, yeah. Against those Necros matches, it really helped. Um, okay, yeah, what about your uh, extra new side deck? Extra deck? We'll start with it. Um, I know you probably didn't go into much other than like I didn't go into it a lot. Omega. Yeah. Uh, Armades. Mm -hmm. I didn't make him at all today, um, but he's a really good card against your Shadal matchup. HGS Psyche Myth. A lot of people don't play this card. A lot of people don't even know about this card. Um, I play this because of Cosmo. If I get in a bad situation against a Forerunner in Cosmo, this card does not target. So I can just attack and banish the uh, Forerunner. And they okay. will get no effect in grave. So it's really good. Um, scrap Arch Fiend for the OTK play. It's, it's necessary. It's a normal yeah. monster, right? Uh, this is Clearwing. It's a ghost. Um, Clearwing, I play it for Construct. Uh, I'll use it to kill a construct, and then when they activate Shadow Fusion during their turn, I'll just tribute off my clear wing and banish something from their grave. So, uh, Black Rose, also a ghost. Um, just best card. Good against Cliff Hort, any deck really. The best synchro in the game, Cypher and Omega. Oh, I 100% agree. Uh, I went into this turn one every opportunity I could. Um, it's so good against every matchup. I was playing, uh, I think it was Ben. Uh, he activated a Kaleidoscope. I actually hit the Unicorn out of his hand with this, and Kaleidoscope couldn't resolve. It's amazing. Uh, Crimson Blader, because it's a good level 8. Uh, you can lock your opponent out with it. Um, just all around, good standard card. And I play Star Eater. This card gets you out of bad situations when you can't really summon anything else. Uh, I actually, I had a Majesty's Fiend on the field earlier, and I actually had to summon, and my opponent had a Diamond Crab King in defense mode. I actually summoned the Sightsmith, normal summon a Raiden, and use this to kill the Crab King, and that was game. Okay. Right, that was it. Um, now the Mexies, uh, one Castell. Excite Knight, Abyss Dweller, which in my opinion is the best Xyz that I play. This um, is the best Xyz right now. It is, it's amazing. Uh, just activate this against Shadals. When they play Fusion, chain this, chain your Infernoid, tribute this off, they, they just lose everything. It's like a negative three for them. Uh, Gemini Pearl for the OTK. Play. Of course. Yeah. Uh, I play Rhapsody and Desert. I like this card against Necros. I'll go into it against Necros and banish their mirrors from Grave, banish excess stuff. Uh, big Eye. Because it's the best generic rank seven right now. Um, it's good. I've actually um, I've used this a couple times to take monsters that were too big for my opponents to attack over. And I play Felgrim. Now I never went into this today, but I didn't play any Teller Knights or uh, you know, anything you know back row heavy, so I didn't really play all that. Okay. Awesome. What about the side deck? Uh, side deck. My side deck is kind of strange uh, versus other Inferno players. I play two Majesty's Fiend okay. because he is easy to get out. All I have to do is summon a baby Infernoid and distribute it off and summon this. Yep. And it's just a, it's amazing floodgate. Um, two Defusion. Uh, good against Shadals. Good against uh, Heroes because Dark Wall is an awful thing that happens. Triple MST. Um, these are pretty much just go-tos in Game 2 and Game 3 because your opponent's going to side you. floodgates. Right. Yeah. It's going to be over that. This is something I played today that was really unique, and it actually uh, it won me a game against a Shaw player. <coughs> um, I was trying to think of something I could side against the Inferno and Mirror Match, and this is the card I came up with. And I feel like it's the best card to side against the Inferno and Mirror Match. Is it, it a different dimension ground? It is different dimension ground. Um, awesome. yeah. This card, uh, you just you chain it to their reasoning. Everything is banished. We can't play Retaliating C or any of the C cards because of our reasoning. We're reasoning into them. Um, this card is just amazing against them. It's better than Artifact Lancia, in my that opinion. It's crazy. It's so good. Um, okay. 
too mischief for the gnomes against for BA. Um, also, kind of against Necros. I didn't really side against Necros any, but I thought about it just to drop their Unicorn level in hand. Um, you I can like resolve this against BA. Yeah, you literally. Yeah. Just blow them and then with out. Omega, we can just keep putting it back in the frame. Exactly. Which is amazing. Um, triple mistake. Because you can play yeah. this card. That's why. Um, this card, in my, I mean, it, it won me games today, obviously. Um, just an amazing card. And then I side the one rogue fairy one. Just uh, in case you hit a Klee. Or... Just in case I hit a Klee, but I really play this more against uh, extra Imperial Iron Wall Paw. Okay. I play it against, and against decks like Yang Zings and things that play lots of back row. I can just kind of like take out all that at once. So it's amazing. Awesome. Oh, hey, Craig. Congrats again on going undefeated. Um, pretty big accomplishment with the, like the caliber of players that we have here as well. So uh, big props to you. Beat all three of my players, top eight, <laughs> top four, and final. So um, yeah, big accomplishment there as well. But we'll definitely, you know, definitely put up all these matches and everything. Everybody will be able to see how your play style is and how you actually, you know, playing for Nursia. So I know a lot of people are looking forward to that there. But congrats again. We'll see Thanks, you man. here in roughly about a month or so for the Battle of Champions with that big stream and big cash prize, um, you know, on the line. But until next time, guys. This has been The Car Guys, and, and we'll see you later. Peace. Right, thanks, guys. Mm -hmm.